how easy are these integrations nowadays because if there's a backbone and you're integrating the solution yeah is yeah. it becoming easier or is it difficult i mean how does I, it work i think it's i think it's 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 easier i mean i, I think the, the whole you know the whole space of digitalization mm. is is easier um because people have gone through the um the exercise of integrating um as a as a corporate you know they've got that skill set um, and also from a supply side, you know, the digital procurement solutions are, are now becoming more adept at, you know, creating the APIs, creating those integrations, knowing what, what the frequency of data is required, knowing what the complexity it is, knowing how it integrates into your ERP or master data management um, systems. The challenge is, you know, you still lack the total capacity to do it. Oh, do you know what yeah. I mean? So, so yes, people know how to do it, but is there enough people <laughs> that they can actually physically do it? Okay. Um, and so I think it's a, a capacity thing. Um, I, I, I do think that um, corporates and solution providers are getting smarter about this. You know what I mean? They're, they're creating established um, links um, into, I don't know, into Reba's and Cooper's ecosystem. You know, so SAP have got, a, have got an established program for increasing the integration with specific vendors and vice versa. So, um, yes, it's easier. Yes, it's quicker. Capacity is lacking, but it shouldn't be seen as a barrier to, to basically to making, making it happen. Okay. So capacity in the sense from the, at the vendor side or at the organization, procurement organization side, where is the capacity? I think, like? I think it's more, um, uh, actually it's both. I mean, it's, mm. it's, it's basically, you know, because Base is not enough, basically, people to, mm -hmm. to, do, to do the work. <laughs> okay. um, and yes, it's got simpler and easier, but, you know, you can only do so many integrations at once and you've only, you've only got so much bandwidth to execute on it. Um, okay. You know, because I, I think as well, you can go through the buying process of, um, sorry, step back a bit. You can go through the process of creating a digital procurement strategy that's quite quick you can go through the process of selecting solutions mm -hmm. again that that can be quite quick and we you know we augment that a lot but when it comes to the implementation you need to be very uh cognizant of what it's going to take you know what you sequence when and not only is the procurement resource but the business resource and the it resource that's required to make make it happen mm -hmm. um, and that is that it resource i'm talking about which is just a pure capacity you know there's there's, there's there isn't enough uh, resource to go around because not only are they doing procurement challenges but they're also addressing business-wide corporate-wide yeah, um, yeah. it uh, transformations as well okay uh, i'm just being curious here uh, is there any extra cost involved in terms of say license fee or something uh, you know if you have to integrate uh, say third-party uh, apps into the backbone or is it like it's kind of free. I mean, you could do that without paying anything. Yeah, no, the, the, no, there is there is a cost. Some people will will package it up as part of your overall cost. And I think that you've got a, a very good a point there is that, you know, you need to be fully aware of the total acquisition mm -hmm. cost mm -hmm. when you when you're going through and it's not just your license fee, it's the implementation cost, what happens with data, you know, who yep. owns data, Are you paying for the data is the third party provider paying for the data. Um, who's paying for middleware? You know, when you're looking at the Absolutely. architecture, how does that all get or put together? And it, it becomes an, an imperative when you're pulling your, your business case together. Sure.